Hello. Good evening. Learning. Hi. How's everything? Okay. Good. Okay, today we have Practice one, right? Seeing. Okay, today we have time expressions. Okay, how was your day? Good. Hello, Flor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, good. And we have uh, Iris tell me. Okay, let's check what we have for today. Okay, yesterday we finished with the expressions. What do you do? Where do you go, right? Some um, information questions. Simple present and question words with WH. What, where, how, and that's it. And today, we have time expressions. For example, I start work at five. This is a time expression, right? When you give the time, then pay attention to uh, prepositions like in, on, at, in the afternoon, at midnight, okay? Using these expressions. Now listen. We will need the sound. <laughs> Listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. 
I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, by the way, I'm Daniel. I'm a TV announcer. Okay, questions about vocabulary, about expressions. Okay, remember that here it says, um, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Okay, this is a time expression. What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon, it's another time expression. I start work at five, say that's late. When do you get home? At night, okay, at night is another one. And they have at midnight. And then we have, um, don't recognize me, you're yelling, oh, that's it, okay? So these are just introduction. This is just an introduction to the time expressions that we can use, right? Then uh, Brenda and Flor. Brenda, you are Daniel, Helen, and my floor you are Helen okay practice okay this is pronunciation practice okay, okay. so do you usually come to come, the gym? come come on, come uh, to the gym in the morning yes yeah i do really What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you have how at night? I usually get home at midnight. Meaning, uh, that is late. What do you do exactly? Oh, I am a TV announcer. Anon I don't Man, know. Announcer. Uh -huh. Announcer. Yes. I am a TV announcer. I do a report on King K and don't TV. You King and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen. Black, I love you. You're so by the watch and Danny. I am Danny. I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay, good. Now, uh, here, remember this, you say, uh, come, okay, come to the gym. Uh, do you work in the afternoon, start work? And when do you get, okay, this is get, uh, night, get home. Uh, what do you do exactly? An answer. Announced. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, recognized, okay? Then you recognize, recognize. Okay, good. Robert, you are Daniel. And Iris, you are Helen. Okay. So do you usually come the, to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start wow. work at five. Wow, that lie. Where do you get home at nine? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is a lie. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the water report on KMTV. Don't you recognize recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. 
I love your show, but that way I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay, by the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Iris. Okay. Okay, tell me, now you are Daniel, and Carmina, you are Helen. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Hello, Carmina. Yes, yeah, yes. I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, whoa, that's light, light, that's light. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is light? Do you do you do ex 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 exactly? I a TV announcer. I do the water report on Kai and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh you're Helen Black. I love your show. 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 So, by the way, I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now listen again. In this lesson, two conversations are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah. Okay, so, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When? Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do I'm... the weather report on KNTV. Okay, I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. Oh, you're Helen Black, right? I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel, okay? So this is, you know, a strategy that you can use while you are practicing too. Okay, you listen to the, to the audio, then you pause stop and repeat okay then uh you can uh finish the conversation then you do it one two three times if you see it's only one minute so, well 43 seconds is less so in five minutes of practice you can do every day a, a lot of improvement with your pronunciation okay now Let's see, no questions about vocabulary. I'm answer. An answer. Okay, like TV an answer is como, es un común, uh, eh, let's say the, eh, how do you call this? The people who act on TV. Eh, what's the name of these people? Eh, los que dan los, los el tiempo en la televisión cómo le llaman los pronósticos del tiempo locutores locutores right something like that thank oh. you that's the word okay but on TV right so you can use on TV uh -huh. los que dan el pronóstico del tiempo to the weather report on K and TV okay so these are you know like the ones that you can see on programs like eh, I don't know venga la alegría in Mexico here I don't know it's a uh, what is the name eh, there are two programs in the morning, right? 
I think something in the something in the morning. Algo de la mañana, I don't remember. Okay, so then these are the TV announcers. There are women and there are men, right? So, uh, and then you can also use this in the TV news. También en los programas de noticias, right? The TV news. You can see also the announcers. Okay, presentadores is the other word that you can use too. Okay. Then, uh, let's, huh? La palabra que está después de you, dice, reconoce me. Ah, recognize me. Don't you reconocer. Rec rec uh -huh. No me reconoces. Reconocer. Don't you ah, recognize okay. me. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. don't you recognize me. Yeah. Okay. No me okay. Yes. Okay, you're Helen Black. I love your show, by the way. I'm Daniel. Okay. So that's the show. Good. No more? Okay. If you have more, let me know. Now the next one is... By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Okay, so here we have usually, sometimes, okay, never and ever time expressions. Listen to the explanation. Aquí está la explicación, so you pay attention to, let's say the expression shows at, in, and on. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, 
months and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On, this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay. First, all these expressions, right? And there are more, okay? These are some time expressions and some frequency adverbs, but there are others, right? Remember, okay, this is just one portion, right, of all the uh, time expressions and adverbs of time that we can have. But here, for example, when you have at, we're going to use at when we have the time, right? At 7.15, at 7 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, at 8.30, okay, when we are using the time. Okay, for example, we start the class at 8. We finish the class at 9, okay? Then I go to bed, this is approximately, right? When you say approximately is around. Okay, before or after, okay? Uh, I leave work early, okay? Four o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, okay? I get home late, especially when there is a lot of traffic, right? Or when you have uh, some meetings or other things to do, then you get home late. Stay up. Stay up is like, uh, you can interpret this como de velarse también, right? O quedarse hasta tarde, okay, the two. Okay, I stayed up all night. Me desvelé toda la noche, right? I stayed up all night. I stay up until 3 a.m. Okay, I stayed up until 4 a.m. I wake up. <coughs> I wake up is uh, the time that you open your eyes, right? Before noon or afternoon. In the morning. On weekdays. Then you have, I get up at 7 a.m. Or I wake up, I get up at 7 in the morning on weekends. Okay. See, for example, me levanto a las 7 de la mañana los fines de semana, o los días de, se, de, los días de semana. If you see, for example, the on, here is como los, los días de semana, okay, los, uh, las noches de la semana, right, los fines de semana, los viernes, right, here, ah. All right, de, in the morning, depending, depending on the context, that's the interpretation that you are going to uh, use in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. So it's no one uh, a specific translation for this, right? Then I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave early in the morning on weekends. Okay, I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before or after noon on Sundays. Okay, questions? Other expressions? We have seven o'clock. You can say seven, seven o'clock. 7 a.m., 7 p.m., okay? 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and... Okay. From here, what do you understand? ¿Qué es lo que entienden de acá? De esta chart. 
on, at. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. On weekends. Christmas. Okay. Is that clear? When you use at, when you are going to use in, and when you are going to use on. Entiende que el at es, es específico del tiempo, o sea, cuando se refiere a determinada hora, vamos a ocupar el at. Yes. At seven. Uh -huh. Así es, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Y, eh, el, y, uh -huh. y se incluye y, night. Ajá. ajá. Y, el, y el in es en como tiempo en general. Este, la sección de night, moon y, o sea, en los meses, en los años. Uh -huh. Lo, mi, duda, mi duda es por qué en el, en el ejemplo dice I went to México in the... en 1989. Por, ajá, y es el año. Bueno, ajá. El año. Uh -huh. Yes, I say, in this preposition of time, it's used to discuss general times. Okay, ah, general yeah. times of the day, except night, right? Aquí creo que se equivocaron en esta parte, right? Because ah. uh, eh, because is the only exception is night, okay? Then month you can say in June, in July, in August, in November. For example, in qué mes estamos? In English. December. 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 The preposition. Uh, sería in December. In, in December. December. Okay. Uh -huh. In December. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna use in December. In the years, you're gonna use in. 1989, in 2020, in 2021, uh -huh. in 1920. Mm -hmm. Okay, the exception is que no se dice in night. Okay, se dice in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. Pero si vamos a usar night, usamos at night. At night. Uh -huh. Por eso que está en el de arriba, look. Mm -hmm. El at solo es con night, entonces. En este, yes. But, usted me va a decir, no, pero mire, yo he oído la canción que dice In the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero se pone, es en el medio de la noche. Ok, pero no se dice in night. Ok, así unido, in night, no se va a ver. Pues es, puede decir, por ejemplo, in the night. Ok, in the night of 1994, ese ya es otro. En la noche de tal cosa. Ok, but here you use in the evening. Okay, that's an exception. I eh, went to Mexico. ¿Y la última, Robert? Es sobre los días específicos de la semana. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y... On Friday, on Monday. On Friday, on Monday. Mm -hmm. Siempre se va so a usar on. Mm -hmm. Y sobre fechas también específicas. Exacto. Cuando... Okay, aquí si ven, es una mezcla de mes y la fecha. Y le pueden agregar el... Celebraciones. El... Ajá, celebraciones. Ajá, se puede decir en... Eh, Independence Day is on September 15. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. My birthday is... Nueva York. Uh -huh. Año nuevo sería también. Nueva yes. Okay. And on my birthday is on... I don't know, on May 10th. My birthday is on June 11th. On June 11th. Okay, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Y vean que en English se ocupan las, los días de semana, se ocupa la eh, mayúscula, okay? Capital letter. Igual que December, los meses. En Spanish es different. Okay, en Spanish lo ponemos con minúsculas. Okay, but in English, días de semana, 
messes with capital letter. Ok. So aquí tenemos the preposition time is just discuss certain days of the week. Or portions of days of the week. Ok. On weekend. Es una porción de la semana, right? Tenemos weekdays. La, la semana la dividimos, en, la dividimos en dos, right? Weekdays and weekends. Ok. Y así se separamos los working days and the resting days, right? When we have to rest. Okay. Now let's see the, the practice here. And then you have these words. So we have 10 exercises. Okay, let's begin with um, Iris, Iris Herrera, what's the number one? It is? At. At. Okay, I get up at six. Good. Carmina? Number two. In. in in the morning okay tell me number three mm, at. at I start work at 11 30 okay Robert in in the afternoon okay good floor number five um I wake up late on Sundays, okay? Good, uh, let's see. Number five, teacher, era five. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You are right, sorry. Okay, I skipped one. Good, then uh, Brenda? Yes. In. I wake up late. In Sunday, in no, Sunday, es, un día de la semana. Ajá. Día de la semana, entonces sería on. On, okay. Wake up late on Sundays. Good. Eh, who's missing? And tell me, Carmina, Flor. Well, Flor, tell me the other one, number seven. In. In the evening, okay, it is number eight. I do my homework. On around in. I don't I don't remember. Um ¿Qué significa around? Approximately, more or less. Yes. Alrededor de, right? Oh, sería around. Around. Around uh, for, around. Around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Robert, nine? Uh, um. On weekdays and yes, on weekdays. Good. And Brenda? Uh, I feel home. Letter? I get home. Uh, letter. La primera. Late. 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 Okay. Late. Okay. Late. Late. Okay, so let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. Yes, all of them are correct. 
Okay, late. Late. On. Around, yes. Around four in the afternoon. This is when we are not very sure, right? Or, or it's not exactly the time. Then we use around. Okay, then, uh, but if we have ex exactly the time, at. Okay, I start work at seven o'clock. Then uh, we have uh, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, in the afternoon, at 11.30 a.m. Look at this at the time, at 11.30 a.m. In the morning, um, at six, and that's it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now we have the prepositions. And then we're gonna go with this. And this is the next practice. Okay, listen to this. The strategy one, listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete information for each person. Okay? Only listen. Escuchen y tomen notas, right? The first time. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, here we have Rodney. Rodney is, he gets up, he gets home, he goes to bed. So then we have Tina, the time that he get up, the time that she gets home, the time that she goes to bed. Then Ellen, what she does, the time that she gets up before, and she gets home at, and she goes to bed. Okay, listen again, one more, and then we try to answer some of the questions. Here we go. Rodney, Rodney Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. What about Ronnie? Ronnie is what? Ronnie is chef. A chef? 
The chef. Okay, good. Yes. What time does he get up? What time does he 9 get up? Nine a.m. Nine a.m. If anybody has a different um, answer, let me know. Okay. Nine a.m. Okay. What about what time? Uh, let's say does he get home? Eleven p.m. Eleven p.m. Eleven p.m. All right. Very good. What about the time that he goes to bed? What time does he go to bed? One a.m. One a.m. AM. Okay. This is about Rodney. And what about Tina? Tina is office manager. She's an office manager. That's good. What time does she get up? 7 a.m. She gets up at 7 a.m. All right. What time does she get home? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. She gets home at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Good. And what time does she go to bed? Midnight. Mid midnight. 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 At, at midnight. There you go, midnight. Okay, so here we have the information about Rodney, about Tina, and now let's see about Ellen. What time does Ellen, oh no, what does Ellen Fly. do? Flying Fly. attendant. Fly attendant. Okay, what time does she get up? Five, I am. So she gets up before 5 a.m. Probably around 5, right? 4.45, 4.30. And what time does she get home? 9 p.m. 9. 9 p.m. Okay. And she goes to bed at? At 10 p.m. 10 p.m. No, no dice exactamente que, que sea de noche, pero como está hablando que, que llega a la casa a las 9 p.m., se deduce sí. que a las 10 de la noche. <risa> Exacto. Eso se llama inferir, Robert. O sea, es el inferir, inference. Eso es parte del ejercicio, right? That you can use, the, eso se llama comprensión. Okay, that's correct. Okay, then we understand that is 10 p.m. In this, hay un caso acá, let me see, 11, 9 a.m. No, en el anterior decía que se acostaba en la mañana, right? Yes, not this one. Okay, good. Now here we have submitting. All of them are correct. Okay. Now, listen again. Escuchen una vez más solo para. Okay, let's refresh. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk <clears throat> about their daily schedules. Now look. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, 
so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, around nine at night, right? So then she goes to bed, you know, right away when she gets home, okay? That is the listening. And I guess that now we can have some time for, yeah, because the other one is uh, a reading. Okay. Now we have a uh, like couple of minutes to to do some practice, and we have exactly six people. Okay. Voy a ponerlos en grupos a trabajar en bueno en parejas. Solo que eh, van a hacer una rutina, okay, en pareja de una tercera persona. Okay. Por ejemplo, let's say eh, eh, we're going to talk about my my best friend or my boss or you can invent and you can talk about an actor or an actress okay you can say for example angelina jolie gets up at 5 a.m then uh, she takes a shower at 6 a.m then she prepares breakfast for the children at 7 a.m then she goes to work at 8 30 a.m okay then uh, then she comes back from work in the afternoon and like that, right? So you can prepare a routine for a famous person. I'm going to give you nine minutes, okay, in the group to work a routine. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna make only three groups, easy and nice. There you go. Brenda is going to work with Floor, Delmin Robert, and Iris with Carmina. ¿Cómo comienza la oración? Brad Pitt, uh, get up at 6 a.m. He hey. works on weekend. El on era para los días de la semana. El on para los días de la semana y para los, y el, para los años, creo que dijo también. Weekends, y el in weekends. era... We, Ay, está el tío. Sería uh, Brapi Bor on the Monday. On weekends. Uh, on uh -huh. weekends. Monday, uh, Friday. 
From Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Everybody trabaja de lunes a viernes. Mm -hmm. From Monday in to Friday. In the afternoon or in the evening. Uh -huh. oh, That's correct. Yes. Se lo puedo comentar. Okay, very good. Así es la idea, okay? Uh -huh. Hagan toda okay. la rutina de Brad Pitt, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Almuerzo. Ay, yo creo que sí. Ah, va. Bien. Entonces, Lorena Herrera, get up, up in the morning. Ah, he has breakfast at 7.30 and then and comes, comes, come in the world at 8 a.m. Y entra a trabajar a las 8. In the world. At yen, eight yen. Breakfast, breakfast, come work at. Almuerzo. El almuerzo es, he goes to work at noon, al mediodía. Este, sale, sale, no, perdón, perdón. Sale a almorzar, va, sale. She has lunch. She has. Sale, uh -huh. she, uh -huh. she has. She has lunch. She has lunch. She has lunch. She has lunch. Mm -hmm. She has lunch. Eh, sería, she has lunch. Lunch at. Mm -hmm. 12. In the noon, entonces. In the noon. At noon. At noon. At noon, perdón. Yes, at noon. At, at noon. She has long. Long. At noon. Long. At noon. At noon. At noon. Uh -huh. She has at noon. Okay. That's good. The, the, the is este, sale tra, ella, she, she leaves work, she leaves work. She leaves work. At, así es, but she leaves work uh -huh. at 4 p.m. 4 a.m. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so, ella sale a trabajar, así es, va. Yes, ella deja, uh -huh. yes. Or she finishes. Uh -huh. She leaves or finishes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, mm -mm. Um, ¿Te puede decir, my mother um, make make the lunch uh, in 11 a.m. At 11. Sí, at 11. Mm -hmm. My mother make. makes. Cuando yeah. se diga la, la hora siempre se va a poner at. Ajá. Uh -huh. At 3 o'clock, at 7 o'clock. Uh, uh -huh. un, unless, unless you use in, uh, así, approximately. In, in the morning, uh -huh. in, the in the afternoon, in the um, evening, night. Evening. In the evening, evening. Mm -hmm. y on, At, uh -huh. on, on, weekend, on weekends, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, with the days of the week. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh. Ya, yeah. entonces on va con los días de la semana, okay. At va con la hora, y in va con... Portions, Los por horarios de, 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 de uh -huh. parts of the las portions of the day, right? Las porciones del día, tarde, uh -huh. mañana y noche. Mm, ya, yeah, ya okay. entendí. Bien, like, say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Ah, eh, ya, los, gracias. Por ejemplo, si queremos utilizarlo acá, podemos decir que she go to movie. Um, quiero ver. On, on Friday. On Friday. On she, Friday. Uh, she goes to the movies. She goes to the movies on Fridays. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you can say she goes to the movies on Friday nights, on Friday mornings, on Friday afternoons, right? So that's the, the moment of the day too. Okay. Or you can say she goes to the movies on Friday, on Friday in the morning, on Friday in the afternoon. In the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's right. Teacher, y si decimos a una oración que diga, um, I watch TV in, in the morning, podríamos utilizar así como en la mañana, uh, no sé cómo explicarle, podríamos utilizar las tres cosas que me dice at, on, in, en una que queramos utilizar. Yes, I work, for example, I watch TV at seven, at seven um, in the morning on Friday. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I work, I watch TV at seven in the morning on Friday, or I watch TV at uh, seven. Aquí tendría que ir siempre, tendría mm -hmm. que ir siempre la, la, la hora, el día, not necessarily because you can say uh, I work. I watch, I watch TV on Fridays. Okay, on Friday mornings. El, el lo que pasa es que el cuando uno ya habla a veces omite muchos in at o todo eso. Entonces dice I watch TV on, mm -hmm. on let's say at 7 a.m. on Friday mornings. Entonces ya el on mm -hmm. y el in the morning se hace una sola frase. Okay. Oh, I watch um, TV on Friday mornings, uh, usually at seven. Okay. Then, uh, cuando dices Sunday, uh, Friday mornings, ya se sobreentiende que es, es at, at seven es a las siete de la mañana. Uh -huh. Es no es muy frecuente escuchar que se diga I watch TV at seven a.m. or at seven in the morning on Friday. O sea, para practicarlo, sí, right? But ya a la hora de hablarlo, mm. la economía del idioma lo no. hace. Reco eh, debemos recortar palabras. Sí. Ok. Ok. okay. Entonces sería Shirham at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. She got up at 6 a.m. She go to the work at at 8 a.m. at 8 a.m. okay she go to the movies on friday friday in the evening okay <coughs> perfect that's correct okay good now let's go back to the class Okay. Okay, good. Then, uh, well, Iris and, and Delmi, they were telling me the routine. Okay, Brenda and Flor, who were you talking about? Uh, uh, we talk about Brad Pitt. Okay, tell me, tell me the, the routine. Okay, Brad Pitt get up at 6 a.m. He goes to work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Brad Pitt goes... Okay, Brad Pitt goes to work from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Continue, continue, Floor. He makes a lot of movies on the weekend. Okay. Uh, he does exercise in the afternoon. All right. Only? 
Only that Pitt. Okay, very good. Okay, ahí ustedes acaban de oír a las dos representantes de Brad Pitt en El Salvador, right? They know. Rapid Harrison. Yes. Okay, Robert, and tell me, right? Tell me, will do me the favor of saying the dialogue. Okay, perfect. Okay, tell me. You have been the chosen one. Um, Lorena Le Herrera, get up at seven in the morning. Okay. And she has breakfast. 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 At seven. Thirty. Fifty a.m. Okay. She comes to work at a. A. I am. Okay. She has lunch at noon. And she. Es así, no sé, Roberto, ¿cómo se llama? Lives. Lives. She lives. 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 Gore. Work. She lives. Gore. At 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Now you have also Lorena Herrera. Okay. Hey, Carmina and Iris, ya me lo dijeron in the group, because that's why we took more time. Okay, people, then uh, we stop here. Tomorrow we continue with the reading and the daily routines, okay? Have a good night. Okay. Good See night, you teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye, tomorrow.